In our first video on options, we introduced options, discussed what an option was, introduced some of the basic terms like put, call, strike price or exercise price, and idea of a stock option contract. We're going to continue along that by going into more detail on the put contract in this video. Our example that we used in the last video was based on Apple. We said assume it is June 1st and Apple is currently trading for $345. And last time we looked at the June 350 call option. This time we're going to look at the June 350 put. Remember the put option contract gives us the right to sell Apple stock and the 350 strike price means we can sell it for $350 per share. It's going to cost us $8.60 in order to buy one of those options. So if we're looking at an Apple 350 June put, this gives us the right, but not the obligation, to sell 100 shares of Apple stock for $350 per share between now and the third Friday in June. Remember, all contracts are going to expire on the third Friday of the expiration month. And we assumed it was currently June 1st, and Apple was trading for $345. This contract is going to cost us $860. Remember, when we looked at the example, we said the put price was $8.60. But when we buy and sell options, we buy them in contracts. So one contract is going to be $860. We have to multiply that 8.6 by 100 to get the value of one contract. Now with the put option, remember the put option is the right to sell for a fixed price. So when we buy a put option, we're making a bet that the stock price is going to decline in value. If it goes up, that's going to hurt us. If it goes down, especially if it goes down significantly, that's where we're going to make a profit on our put. So in our example, we want to see what happens now if Apple goes up, goes up to $370 per share. Our option allows us the opportunity, remember we don't have an obligation, just the opportunity to sell 100 shares for $350 per share. However, instead of selling them at 350, right now the price in the market is 370. So I don't need an option to sell it for 370. I can sell it for 370 just through my broker. Why would I want to use an option then that would let me sell it for 350? I'd be getting $20 less per share. So in this case, I'm not going to sell it for 350. I'm not going to use my option. Instead, I'm going to let my option expire worthless. I'm going to say I purchased this right to sell Apple stock for $350. It's not to my advantage to use that contract right now, so I'm going to let it expire worthless and I'm going to lose my entire initial investment, which was $860. Now we're going to look at what happens if Apple stays exactly where it was when we bought the stock. Remember, or bought the option. Remember when we purchased the option, Apple was trading at $345 per share. So now let's assume we're on the third Friday in June. Apple is still trading for $345. With our put option, now we can sell 100 shares for $350. That's more than the current market price, so now we want to use our put option. It's worthwhile to use it because we can now sell the stock for $5 more per share than the current market price of $345. Remember, each share or each contract is for 100 shares, so that $5 per share times 100 gives our contract a value of $500. Now, this is better than our example when Apple went up to 350, I mean, to, went up to 370, but keep in mind, we've still lost money on this transaction because we paid $860 to buy the options. They're only worth $500 when we use them, so we lose $360. That $800 that we paid, or $860 that we paid, minus the $500 that they're currently worth, gives us a value of $360. 
So we lost $360 on this investment. If we want to look at that as a return, we lost $360 out of the $860 that we initially spent. That gives us a negative 42% return on our investment. So when Apple stayed where it was, we lost money. Apple went up, we lost money. In order for us to make a profit, Apple has to go down. And what we're going to try to find now is what is our break-even point and the maximum loss on this Apple 350 June put. For the break-even point, we need to figure what price Apple needs to trade at to make the value of our put at expiration equal to what we paid, which was $860. Remember that's $8.60 per share or per option. So we take the 350 strike price because this is a put, we need the stock price to decline. So we subtract off that 860 initial cost of the option. And that gives us a break even point of $341.40. In order for this put contract to make a profit for us, Apple stock would have to drop from 345 to $341.40. Anything below that, we make a profit. Now what's our maximum loss? What's our worst case scenario? The maximum loss will occur at the point where it's not worth anything to exercise the option. This is going to be any price above the strike price of 350. Anytime that strike price or the stock price goes above 350 at expiration, it's not valuable for us to be able to sell at 350, so our options are going to expire worthless. If we want to look at that graphically, we can do that here. With a put option, notice that we lose money as the stock price goes up. This is going to be our $860 initial investment that we're going to lose. That's going to occur at $350 and up. Anytime the stock goes to 350 or higher at expiration, we lose our entire initial investment. Our break-even point is that $341.40 that we calculated earlier. The strike price of 350 minus the $8.60 that we paid per option gives us 341.40. As the stock price falls further, we make more and more money. So you can see as the stock price goes down and down, our profit goes up and up. Best case scenario for the person owning the put contract would be Apple declares bankruptcy by the third Friday in June, and then there would be a huge profit on that actually $341.40 per share profit. So $34,140 profit on that investment if Apple were to declare bankruptcy. Now that's not likely to happen, so that's a theoretical best case scenario, but in reality, a drop of 10 to 15% in the Apple stock price could generate very large returns for the person holding that put option.